so this is a three step cooking process. I know it sounds like a lot, believe me, you find that hard. So, unlike before, we need a hot pan. We're going to increase the temperature of the wok, of the pan. Okay. So, so, I've got a bit of peanut oil here. You are welcome to use any oil you wish to. Traditionally, in, in the Asian cuisine, particularly Chinese cuisine, we like to use peanut oil as it can take a lot of heat into it. Alright, so my, my pan is nice and hot, oil is hot. First thing I'm going to do is add my onion into it. And I'll add my balls next. Just need a really quick, just need to sweat the onion, as we call it. You know, the cooking term, sweating means you're not, um, you're cooking it down, you're breaking it down. Okay, adding the balls into it. You'll notice I didn't add garlic into it first. I didn't add the garlic at the beginning because I don't want it to burn. And I also didn't add the chilies in there because I didn't want them to burn. Find a bit of salt at this moment. You can see it's got some colour coming from. Turn the heat down. Find a bit more oil. And my garlic. Put some chilli. So it's literally quite like a little stir fry. So how it's going to end up, it looks like it's a, a corn stir fry inside of an omelette. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Corn doesn't take that long to cook. As soon as you see a little bit of wheat starting to come through, and then it's starting to cook through. I'm just going to give it a tiny bit more time. So I've reduced the heat because I want it to, I want it to cook slowly now, and I want to get a bit more heat into the corn without burning the onion and the chili. It smells amazing, by the way. Alright, so, we're almost ready to go now. Just going to remove that mixture into the mother's bowl. So you can add other ingredients such as, you know, snow peas. Uh, you can add, um, Snow peas, mushrooms, um, bean sprouts, anything you wish to. Alright, back on here, tiny bit more peanut oil. Alright, now we're going to start cooking the omelette. Turn the heat down because you don't want the bottom to burn down. Add the egg, egg mixture. Into the pan. This is the second step. I'll be making the omelette part. First step, sauteing off the corns. Second step, the omelette. like previously. I'm just going to bring it in, get those egg mixture to cook through. Any of the air bubbles, you want to break, burst them off now as you turn that way it all sits in the middle. Another good ingredient to go in there is ginger. Ginger will be a nice ingredient to go in there. I left it very simple with some four different ingredients. Just want to give you the techniques and the method of doing this. Then you can be creative and do whatever you like. Cook, cook the best corn on the little night. Brings people together. Nothing, nothing better than sitting everyone around and enjoying the food made. Just 
can increase the temperature a tiny bit more. Okay, time to season. A bit of black pepper, a bit of salt. As you can see, I'm only done really small amounts. Sugar into it. Salt, sorry. Okay, almost there. Getting rid of that. Your money will be it. Okay, it's good to go now. Just like previously, it's the cheese, we add this mixture into the middle. All that good it is Right. Okay. Very close to turn. So it's okay to get a bit of a colour in this Asian uh, inspired omelet. Asian cooking is done in a high heat. It's expected to have a bit of burnt, so it's okay if you burn a little bit on the sides. It's okay if you have a little bit of colour. Here we go. Turn that over. Bring to the middle. Push it down, push it down. Okay. I forgot to tell you, I left a tiny bit of onion for a reason. That's for the sauce that goes in the top of it. That's the third, third cooking process. Not cooking, third step. Okay, good to go. Beautiful, nice fluffy omelet. Back on the heat, tiny bit of oil. Okay, so this step is we're making a sauce, a gravy to go on top of the omelet. It's, um, traditionally, this gets served with some uh, steamed rice because you need a bit of uh, that sauce helps to uh, enjoy your rice together. Nothing worse than using it, just all rice with no flavor yet. So, this will add additional flavor. Onion. Adding a tiny bit of Oyster sauce, more. So take it off the heat so it's not burning, but it's going to bring in that beautiful flavor there. And chicken stock. Get more, yep. And I got some sugar here. A little bit of sugar in the sweetener. It's, it's Asian flavour is so important to balance the flavour of the, the heat, the sweetness and the sourness. So we have the heat here, we have this, the saltiness of the, of the oyster sauce and the, and the sweetener from the, the sugar. I'm going to add a little bit more to it. I have a little bit of cool flour in. So be really careful not to add too much of it because you don't want it to be too thick. Just a few drops. And as you put it in, it's not going to thicken straight away. You've got to let it, you've got to let it be for it, for it to cook it over. And it just opens up the flour. I think that's pretty good. That goes all the omelette. And I'm gonna, add, I'm gonna garnish with some um, freshly spiced shallots. There you have it. Oriental prawn omelette. Enjoy.